Unlike the early astronauts, Sir Patrick Moore never left the Earth, but his lucid explanations of what went on in space made astronomy accessible and attractive to millions of television viewers. His death at the age of 89, after 55 years of his Sky at Night programmes, marks the end of a unique chapter in television history. Sir Patrick Moore inspired generations of viewers to gaze up into the sky at night. There it is, the wing has appeared, the corona's vanished, and that is the end of this eclipse of the century by Jove. His eccentric style and unstoppable passion for astronomy created a television icon. Good evening. Well, I'm afraid Burnham's Comet turned out to be something of a disappointment. Presenting his record-breaking programme for 55 years, only ever missing one show. There must be generations of people, professional and amateur astronomers, who would say, uh, Patrick Moore turned me on to astronomy. And I remember one time when uh, we had to suddenly go to a, a broadcast, and he, uh, at the time he was a pipe smoker, and he stuffed his pipe in his pocket and set fire to his suit. Everybody loved him for the sort of things that he did like. Without a formal education, he taught himself about the stars. As well as teaching himself to play the piano, he once performed with Albert Einstein and, of course, the xylophone. His maps of the moon were used by NASA to choose Apollo landing sites, and he interviewed the first man to set foot there. Do you think, from your knowledge of the moon, having been there, that it is going to be possible in the foreseeable future to set up scientific bases there on anything like a large scale? Oh, I'm quite certain that we'll have such bases uh, in our lifetime. Moore's idiosyncratic style was irresistible to impersonators like John Kulshaw. The Russians sent their Lunik 3 probe here to take a look, finally putting pay to that story that the moon is made of green cheese. And Moore happily played along when Colshaw called him up, pretending to be Doctor Who. Hello? Oh, hello. Is that, uh, is that Patrick? Sir Patrick Moore? Yes, who's there? Oh, Sir Patrick, my dear fellow, I am the Doctor. <laughs> I need to find a good place to land the TARDIS on Mars. And, uh, Patrick, I wondered if you could think of anywhere suitable. Um, I would say probably uh, it's somewhere in the Circus Major, I think. <laughs> yeah. From his antique manual typewriter, he produced over 70 books. It's a lifelong hobby, isn't it? Absolutely, a lifelong passion, which I think you're to blame. Two of them co-authored with his friend Brian May, who has a PhD in astrophysics. Patrick was unique, there's no doubt about it. He had an incredible will, he had great humour, great wit, and a, a kind of disregard for convention, which obviously made us love him even more. You know, he could get away with it because he was Patrick Moore. Patrick Moore never married after his fiancée was killed by a World War II bomb. He died at his home in Selsey today. Family, friends and his cat Ptolemy were with him. I'm joined now by the impressionist John Culshaw, who was a friend of Sir Patrick's. In many ways, we all feel like we knew him because we all grew up with him on the television. You really knew him. How will you remember him? Well, he's, uh, he's our godfather of astronomy. Um, he always said that astronomy is for everyone, just simply look up at the night sky and take it from there. And uh, he really did in inspire all of us. Um, and uh, he's really been such a focus and a hub for uh, astronomy and, and science, and it's, it's very odd to th think of You're a bit of an of amateur astrologist yourself. Indeed, uh, I am an, anima, uh, anim, uh, um, an amateur astronomer, and I was inspired by Sir Patrick Moore when I was a lad, like, like so many people, like Professor Brian Cox, and the list goes on and on. Uh, he really did inspire us all, and um, when the sky at night began in 1957, that was the start of the space race, and so many events, his astronomy career took them all in, the moon landings, the space shuttle missions, probes to Mars and Titan around Saturn. Uh, his career uh, took all of that in. And you met him many occasions, became oh, friends yes, with him. What yes. will you remember most? I think just the uh, way that he captured the fascination of astronomy and just made it infectious. He made you want to go out and discover more for yourself. And uh, the endless books that he wrote uh, at his home, in his study, all the bookshelves are just completely full of books that he has written over the years. You um, also frequently did impersonations of him, and you're not the only one. He was rather irresistible for uh, yes. impersonators. What was it about him that made him so special to do? Uh, he was a wonderful classic English eccentric uh, with that utterly unique 
style of presentation and just a great way of summing things up and making the complicated very simple. Uh, and a phrase I'll always remember was when uh, Patrick said, either the universe is infinite, in which case, what's it expanding into? Or it's not, it's finite, in which case, what's on the other side of it? Either way, we're stuck. <laughs> and... and you often find yourself on television with him doing that kind of thing. This was a man who could take a joke, clearly. Oh, P Patrick had a tremendous sense of humour and he was a great performer as well as an astronomer. He was a great musician uh, on the piano, the xylophone. He was a great composer. Uh, he, he, his talents took in so many different areas and he had a great sense of humour. And um, the moment, uh, you know, he worked with Morecambe and Wise and Ronnie Barker and uh, it was just magical, his, his performances w with them. There's not very many television presenters, probably none, who can survive 55 years on the air, mm. and he would have carried on had he not oh, died yes, today. Absolutely. That's pretty remarkable and unique, isn't it? It's incredible. Uh, Patrick, aged 89, the most recent Sky at Night was broadcast only a couple of days ago. Um, and yes, as you say, he would have carried yeah. on and on and on. You know. He'll be greatly missed. Thanks very much for talking to us about your friend Sir Patrick Moore.